Ladybug Hop Attack. In this picture, you're looking at a container of larvae. We use a lid because they sometimes crawl on the edge and they might escape. We have that hole to have some air to get in. They can breathe air through that hole. Do you see the larva on the top? It's trying to escape. It is good that we have to put the lid on. The ladybugs have a cotton cotton ball because they will drown if you pour water into the container. Then when they are young they eat bee pollen. The squares on the bottom help measure them when we have to. Each square is the size of a centimeter. The larva is on the cotton ball because there is water on the cotton ball. The shape of the larva is a skinny oval. Ladybug larva. This is a larva. A larva is a baby ladybug. It's using its claws to help it climb. Right now you see its abdomen. His abdomen is the bottom of him, but not the very bottom, just when it looks like a triangle. It has three legs on each side. That means it's an insect. So remember, this is a ladybug, but a baby ladybug. The larva is walking upside down in its habitat on the lid. He, he can also run. He is speedy. He can walk down on the floor. The larva has six legs and a little hair. When she gets big, she is going to be a ladybug with wing case and wings. This larva is seven million years long. You can see the pollen on the leg. I think he just ate the pollen. It has a li little yellow and a lot of black. You're looking at larva and a larva that's about to be a pupa. Both are ladybugs, but they are in different stages. One on the left, you see a larva that's what you see a larva. That's when it's a baby, and on the right, you see one becoming a pu a pupa. A pupa is a ladybug that's about to turn into a adult, but this one just turned to a pupa, so it's not going to hatch to about four days. So both don't look like ladybugs, but they are. Ladybug pupa. This is a larva who is ready to turn into a pupa. It is bumpy and stuck to the wall. When it is stuck to the wall, it means it will be a pupa. This is a picture of a pupa. It has yellow spots and it's black. It has a little bit of red on its bottom. It's wrinkly and hard. This pupa is soon going to crack open and out will come a ladybug. This pupa can't, is on the top of the lid. It can't fly because it's a pupa, but once it comes out of its pupa, then it will be able to fly because it's a ladybug and ladybugs can fly. This picture is a picture of a pupa. It is hanging on the side of a container. Soon it will wiggle out and be a grown up ladybug. It will have black dots. Its wing cases will turn red and she will be able to fly. Adult ladybug. This ladybug is using his claws to climb up the the habitat. It can cl climb up plastic too. This ladybug is walking in the edge of the container. 
it is climbing in the container to get off. This ladybug is climbing to the top. The ladybug has a bee pollen on her shoulder. This is an adult ladybug. It is eating bee pollen and he likes it. It is red with black spots. The ladybug is really fast. He can walk on the walls and live. It has a head, thorax, abdomen, legs, wing case, and an antenna. He can climb with his claws. It can. It is red with black dots. It has a wing case. This little ladybug has a wing case, and that wing case keeps the wind safe. She needs to rest more to be strong enough to fly. You see that neck thing by the head? That's a thorax. They use a thorax as a neck. The end of the ladybug is called an abdomen. Ladybugs have six legs. Do you see them? The little ones by the head are antennas. Uh. How, how do they eat? They eat with their mouth. They eat bee pollen and raisins. This is a picture of a grown-up ladybug. She is eating. In this picture, she is using her claws to help her eat the bee pollen. Ladybugs eat bee pollen. Grown-up ladybugs eat bee pollen too. But they also eat raisins and also eat other insects. Now you know more about ladybugs. <laughs>